I don't think that anybody really uh, goes out in the morning wanting to have an accident and cause uh, uh, such drastic changes to somebody else's life. In between 4 and 4.30, uh, we are driving uh, north on number 12 highway, coming back towards Steinbach. Suddenly, Tyler's uh, car came into our lane and we hit head on. All I really remember is kind of headlights and then that's about it until two weeks later. Frontal fire from 911. We got a report of a two vehicle MVA approximately seven miles south of Steinbach on Highway 12. Uh, head on, uh, one vehicle requiring extrication at this time. When we collide together, the, the cab of the truck came off of the freight. And uh, the airbags went off, lots of smoke from the engine. When we could uh, hit that on, <coughs> when everything was happening, uh, we're looking at each other and, and uh, wondering if this is it or, or you know, are we going to be alive through this or what's going to happen next? Yeah. I was not the first to arrive, but I was one of the first, and uh, yeah, we were definitely prepared to have a to have a fatality. Uh, I mean, very few people walk away from a from a collision and from an impact like this. And then after that, I tried to open the doors, and the doors was shut pretty tight from the accident for that time. Then not too long after the ambulance and everybody else showed up and then they opened up the doors and then they took us out and after that, when they took us out, uh, I don't remember too much things after that. The, the fellow in the, uh, in the car was about to, uh, his, his extrication took, uh, took the most amount of time. Uh, there was some uh, undeployed airbags, which were a concern uh, for, for firefighters there. Uh, the car was kind of, uh, yeah, it was pretty mangled. And with all these uh, risks, we had to uh, be extra careful. I wake up to see my leg in this cast, and I'm just like, like, what's going on? And so my family kind of told me, you know, what happened and everything, and it was, it was a lot to take in, for sure. It was good to hear in this case that uh, that uh, everybody did survive and uh, and uh, and was making was making a recovery. So even just seeing them for the first time, I kind of didn't know how to handle it. Like I felt horrible because I knew it was my fault, but I didn't want to. Like I don't know what to do, and so I I know I apologized a couple times and. time to, uh, if he was uh, comfortable to uh, meet with us and sit down and, and uh, talk about the accident and uh, make sure he was okay too. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, had to, we had a few tears going on <laughs> and uh, I'll make sure, uh, you know, he was saying when we met him the first time it was his fault what happened. I said, uh, I told him that you can't, you can't blame yourself. It was, a, it was an accident. I said, the main thing we're together to, uh, to talk about it. And I told him a few times to this, anytime he needs to talk to us about it, he knows our number. He give us a, give us a call and we could talk. To uh, open up and just forgive people look, uh, for the mistakes that were made or for the, uh, is, is just fantastic. And I think it's uh, it's a, it's a great start to healing uh, emotionally as well. So.